Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys having a great Sunday. And thank you guys so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel, guys, we're heading back once again to the Masters line for Wave 12 to do a full unboxing this time of the Revolution Battle Armor and He-Man. But first, we'll do a nice little recap of the figure. We'll look at the figure itself in the packaging, the beautiful artwork he comes with. And then we'll do a full unboxing, guys, and have some fun. All right? And also, we'll compare this version of Battle Armor He-Man to his classics version from thanks to Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics. So here we go, guys. So you have the 30 points of reticulation right there from the Netflix show. Got the Mattel logo. There's old He-Man right there. There he is. He's got a battle axe right there. Beautiful artwork, as always. There, you got some Attorney of Palace Guards with Grayskull and the Spirit of Grayskull right there in, in the artwork. Looks absolutely amazing. You have Battle Over He-Man as well. Logo. Turn the other side right here. You have Man in Arms right here, or Andra. I'm very curious if we're going to get, I'm sure we will, get a, another Andra um, very soon. And her Man in Arms look right there. The other side right there. A nice glamour shot of him right there, of old He-Man right there. There he is. Alright, looks really good. Of course, in the back right there, he's got some Shadow Beast right there in the background. There's old He-Man right there. Nice glamour shot of the figure. And there he is, his cross cell of all his action poses. Alright, and you want to have that more normal look of his normal harness or she or, or um, uh, chest plate right there. There he is, a little, little bayou right there. Of course, the cross cell of the other figures, and we have unboxed Mecha Neck and Triclops on the channel. And then as soon, uh, very soon, King Keldor will be um, arriving very soon to do a full unboxing of him as well. All right. All right. Now, before we unbox him, this is, well... We have two. We had, we had, we gotten two versions of Battle Armor He Man in the Masters line. The first version was his new Eternia look. All right, real fast. You can see the differences real quick, guys. So this is his new Eternia look right here of Battle Armor He Man. All right, compared to his Revolution look. All right. Right, but now let's go ahead and unbox Battle Armor He-Man here, in the Revolution line. Get it out of the packaging. So there he is. Now, in my original my original review on Battle Armor He-Man on this He-Man here. I thought he was looked. He looked amazing, but it was something. I'm. I'm not too sure about the face sculpt. It looks kind of off to me. So I have a couple other um, head sculpts here that we're going to try out and see. You know, if we like. Of course, we have the 40th anniversary one here. We have his uh, new attorney of Viking uh, extra head right here, and of course we have the movie. Uh, kind of like the. It's not supposed to be Dolph Lundgren, but this is you know I guess Dolph Lundgren in a way. Um, head sculpt right here. So I thought it would be kind of fun to try them out. So give me a second here, guys, and get these get them out of the packaging. There's his battle axe right there. I love the detail of the extra dark gray and stuff like that with him. With the battle with the battle axe right here. guys probably not gonna stand up right away so here you know. oops okay let's 
go ahead and get his extra items out of the packaging right here, guys. If we wait. All right. <clears throat> he comes with extra hands right there. And there's his, his harness right there. Oh, there's the damage plate right there. And there's his other... And you're right. So he comes with two fists right there. All right. His damaged H right there. And, of course, he comes with his normal, like, harness from the figure here. All right. But there he is. So the one thing I, you know, I, I do, you know, when I, with the battle armored He-Man, you know, like, I'm an old school guy, and I love the, you know, when you push the button, it would, you know, turn or rotate. Unfortunately, it does not do that. So to to change out the the, the H right here, the, or the center of the chest plate, you got to remove him, the armor from him, pop it out. And t so you got to be like really sure what you want to do with your figure here, you know. So I think he just pops out like that. Yeah, maybe. So there you guys. So there's the chest plate right there removed. I believe it just pops right out. I believe right. Okay, it pops out forward, and okay, so you got to press forward to have it come out. Okay, so right here, and it snaps right into place. Looks really good. So for most likely, I'm going to keep my figure like this with the damage, like he's been in battle and war. Right there. Let's put the chest plate back on. That. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys. There you go. There he is, right there, with his damaged look, right there. Looks really good. Like I said, you know, like I said, I'm an old school guy. You know, with the '80s version, where you can just click in the center and it rotates from the, you know, with one mark to two mark. So, like, where's the second mark? You know, that's another thing. You know, it's missing. You know, I love the if they had that option too, give it some more damage to him you know but it looks good now speaking of which let's go ahead and swap out the head here all right let's pop the head off right there let's go ahead and try this head sculpt right here of him from his new attorney uh viking look or pirate i think it's viking look yeah um what do you think guys it's okay you know what one thing i do notice is that the head, it doesn't snap on play really good because the hair is kind of like rubbing against the armor here. I mean, it's, it, it works, but to a point. Because if you turn it to, in, a, in, a, in a certain way, it will come off the figure here, okay? So let's try another one. Let's try his... Now, this might be even worse now, because the hair is longer. This is his, his movie-style version. The Dolph Lundgren look right there. Of Battle Armor He-Man. You know, if that movie had him in Battle Armor, if Dolph Lundgren came out... In Battle Armor He-Man. I know this is not supposed to be Dolph Lundgren. This is supposed because they couldn't get the rights to battle up uh, to Dolph Lundgren's uh, likeness. But this is the head sculpt that came with the uh, the deluxe figure. So I know I know this is not Dolph Lundgren. This is this their way of their version of the movie star version of He-Man. All right, looks okay. I mean, it works better. You know, in a way, it does work a little bit better than this version right here. All right, now let's try his 40th anniversary version here. All right, that snaps. See, I like that right there. See, I think out of all the, the head sculpts right there, I think this version I'm going to keep on my figure here. It looks amazing, all right? And, of course, I do have that 40th anniversary He-Man with me. Go ahead and put his, his, his axe right there. Hang on, guys. All right. Oops. He fell. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. 
But yeah, I think I love this. I love it. It's like, you know, this this 40th anniversary, you know, He-Man is supposed to represent like the filmation style or the classic 80s version of, you know, of this amazing brand here. And now with the battle armor figure here, you, with the with the 40th anniversary head sculpt, you can do that, you know, and have your own like 80s, you know, vintage in a way, Masterverse battle armor He-Man with this look here. It looks really good. Let's see if he stands on here. So yeah, I love that. I love the look of that. It looks really good. Also, I'm going to pause the turntable. I hope it doesn't talk. I'm like, so I just noticed one thing with the, with the, with the, with the, 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 the I guess this is more uh, 80s version with the, with the cross right here in the middle of the chest plate here. I never noticed that. I always assumed it was an H, you know, so like you can see the differences, you know, with the, with the center of the chest plate, almost identical. But of course, this version has that He-Man H in the center of this chest plate and where this one has the. I don't know, the, the, the cross in the middle right here. Which is more filmation style. Okay. Look of him. All right. Very interesting. I, I just noticed that too, guys. You know? I'm learning something new every day. I never noticed that. Let me pop these right here. Snaps right there. A little fast. Okay. But yeah, I'm loving this figure here. It looks really good. Like I said, I'm going to prefer having his, you know, the face sculpts, you know, like the 40th anniversary. So you have your own like 40th anniversary battle over He Man. Look right there. Let's pause it right there. He looks great. Speaking of which, guys, let's take a look at his classics version real fast. Here we go. So here's his classics versus look right there. Came out in 2010. There he is. And he has the exact same, the exact same, um, um, almost battle wax right there. The two-tone gray and silver right there. Looks amazing. But this version does come with well, you know, three versions of the damaged chest plate. And I really wish that Masterverse would have given that as, as well. Um, you know, third chest plate that he's, if like Battle Armor He-Man has been known for. And this little fun fact, what I'll pause right there. There he is, front to back and side to side. And once again, I want to thank Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics for this amazing book. And the book is, if you're interested, it's called The Toys of the Masters of the Universe. And this goes through, of course, the vintage 80s to the classics to Princess of Power to 2000X. Um, it stops right before Origins um, uh, starts up, basically. So I really do hope that Pixel Dan... Um, and, and I know he's he, that's his, his name on YouTube. His name is Dan um, Everly, I believe. I might be misspelling his last name or saying his last name wrong. I really do hope that Dan um, and Dark Horse Comics will do a continuation, like a part two of this book. You know, with the, of course, the Origins line, the Turtles of Grey Skull line, the cartoon collection. You can do the Master of the WWE Universe. You know, there's so many, like the CGI line, the Masterverse line. So there's so many brands of, of, of this amazing products that I do hope that will, you know, that Dan and Dark Horse Comics will continue this amazing book. With, you know, because this is really cool. I really like the look, you know, all alphabetical order, like everything. Everything you want to know about every vehicle, every figure, like from all from Classic to 2000X to Super 7, like back here. Look. I would recommend getting this book, guys. If you are a big, long collector of He-Man, you know, this book is absolutely... There's Vicron right there, you know, like me. Every version, everything. Um, is maps, you know, detail, like King Grayskull. I would love to get this version of King Grayskull in the Origins line, you know. Look at this. I mean, absolutely beautiful illustrations, you know. And I'm not being promoted. I'm going to say this right. I am speaking free of, you know, free of word here, free of mouth. You know, I'm not getting paid from Dark Horse Comics. I'm not getting paid to sponsor this book at all. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying that as a collector, you, this is a must-have for any, you know, He-Man collector. From the 80s line right here. Like, I'm like, Battle Bones is another, you know. Let's get a Battle Bones in Origins. You know, how about that? And I can't wait to get Battle Armored He- I'm sorry, Battle Armored Skeletor. He should be coming out very soon. We did see promotional pictures and pre-orders, I believe. I think it was pre-ordered. can be pre-ordered. You know, so, yeah. 
Very cool, guys. I would recommend getting this amazing book, guys. You can see all the different versions of He-Man. From 80s to Princess of Power. To the New Adventures. To 2000X. To the Classics line. I love the detail here. It's a big, thick book, too, guys. It's a very heavy, gorgeous book here, guys. And the bitch is Snake Mountain. There's a little Cyclone right there, chained up. Really cool, guys. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't... I, I, I would highly recommend getting this amazing book. I can do a video on its own, you know, some point of this incredible... Just looking through the book. There's another figure that I would we should get very soon, in the Origins line with, with laser you know laser powered He Man, and of course laser light Skeletor. All right, but there you go, guys. There's a look at Battle Armor He Man from the Revolution line. Oops, let me go ahead and get his. You know, it's funny because I don't want to even have a loose version of New Attorney of Battle Armor He Man. I never saw him, you know, in my local retail stores. So it's one of those figures where, you know, I'm sure I can find him online from Big Bad Toy Store, you know, um, uh, Entertainment Earth, Amazon, you know, at a really good price. I think this was, a, I think he was a Target exclusive, I think. And for some reason, you know, Target never, you know, was able to, you know, get him, you know, at, you know, at my local Target. So, but I can, but I can still probably find him very easily, you know, um, online. So I'm not too worried about that. Now, out of the two figures here, from this Battle Army He-Man to, you know, the Revolution look, with now with the new 40th Anniversary head sculpt on it, I would pick, you know, for me personally, I think the 40th Anniversary, you know, head sculpt with the Revolution Battle Armor, you know, um, I would prefer that one over this one. This one's still an amazing figure. It looks great. But I also noticed about this Battle Armor, the chest plate right here is, it has more flat, it's more flat on the chest. Where this one here, I'm gonna, when he rotates around, and I'll stop the, the um, you know, the turntable here. It's got more of a point to it in a way, I think. Or maybe it's just me. It's like, right there. So you can see this has a more of a flat look to him. Right? And you can see also the difference in the, in the battle wax here. And this one has more, I do like the, the taped up look right here. But this one has more of that two-tone, you know, different, you know, silver and gray. But the chest plate, it's, I don't know, maybe it's smaller, but it looks like it's coming to a point right there. But otherwise, you know, it's still really cool. Really cool. And I'm happy having my collection. I do hope you're going to be able to get him in your collection. He is now at trgtoysandcollectibles.com. Um, if you wish to add him to your collection, I would go ahead and look at him for the website. And I always leave that uh, the website of the TG TRG Toys and Collectibles on my description below along with Mechanek and New Eternia uh, Triclops, and he should be coming, uh, King Keldor should be coming very soon to the store, and I will be able to get him, so I can do a full unboxing with you guys. But there you go, guys, there's a look at Battle Armor He-Man for the Revolution show. All right. There's that chest plate, yeah. I'm definitely going to keep the, uh, the damaged chest plate on him. All right, and also, guys, you know, for fun, guys, it's been a minute, but I think I've showed him before. But I did bring out my Battle Armored Funko Pop from He Man, my Battle Armored He Man Funko Pop right here. It's almost kind of like, in a way, and it's got that same age right there. You know, now I'm curious now with you know with this you know this cool book here. I'm gonna hang on while you're looking at it because I'm just curious about. Okay, so Bench of T-Man from the 80s does have that cross, like, you know, not the H, okay. So, so I, I assume Battle Armor He-Man from the 80s, um, man, it's like, it's, bro it's like freaking me out now, you know, Battle Armor Skeletor, okay, so Battle Armor He-Man from the 80s does have that H, okay. Alright, very interesting, okay. All right, yeah, you know, some collector I am, you know, like I should know that already, and I apologize for you, and you know, that I always assumed, I don't know, like this is more of the filmation style look, of course, of him, of He Man, with the H right there, the, with the '80s and, and the filmation style, and you know, his battle armor He Man, you know, 
I'm I'm curious why they gave the I guess because of the H on the, on the He Man chest plate right here that the this version here would be also have the H not the you know the classic you know cross on the chest. I mean there's a, I mean, when it comes down to it I know it doesn't matter. I mean it's, it's still an amazing figure, but yeah I'm always curious about that you know ask some questions, but. But there you go, guys. There's a look. I'm gonna put my put my Funko Pop. No, it's not gonna do that. But right here, back it up right here. All right, all right, guys. All right, get him right here. All right, guys. Uh, I think I said that like five times already. But I hope you know if you made us. <laughs> <What's he? laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. This is not live. All right, no. Um, all right, guys. Um, I'd like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking to you guys. You know, hanging out with you guys. All things Master Universe. You know, um, you know. If you made it, good, good grief. My my closing remarks, man. Whew. All right, let's do this again. All right, I'm not, I'm going to keep everything in the in the video here, guys. All right, all right, guys. I'd like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed. Please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe. From the Masters line here, to the Origins line, which could be the Turtles of Grey Skull, to the Cartoon Collection, to even the Vintage line as well, to the CGI line as well. All right. Uh, hit that like button. And thank you for doing that, guys. It means a lot. You know, it helps my channel out to you know, help more people who love He-Man like we do, who, you know, who collect and, you know... Um, he man for over 40 years to watch my videos and hopefully subscribing as well. So hitting that like button Thank you guys so much for doing that. All right, and hit that notification bell when you know I love new new videos and tomorrow Well, you know, I'm not too sure I want to do some master uh, some origins figures. I might do a you know, uh, you know um, some origins, um, you know um, Figures coming, you know about you know, is it too much right now? You know um, with the current, you know, Origins line right now being three lines right now, is that too much? You know, and let's just talk about that. Maybe that, maybe do a, a, a full-on collection tour um, on my, you know, of all my you know, entire collection from He-Man and everything else, you know, that I've collected. Um, it might be kind of fun to do that too, so stay tuned for that. Of course, share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe. Like the Masters line here for over, for over 40 years, guys. You know, like I said, the Masters line, the Origins line, the 80s line, the you know, the 2000X, to the Classics, to Funko Pop, to Mondo, to CGI, to Super 7, to Princess of Power, to New Adventures of He-Man as well. For over, like I said, over the, like Turtles of Grayskull, to the Cartoon Collection. I mean, this, this incredible brand here that keeps going strong and strong. And I just absolutely love to talk about with you guys. And hang out and goof up sometimes in my uh, ending uh, remarks, man. <laughs> but guys, seriously, I mean, it's been a lot of fun, guys, and I can't wait to see you guys. So, so guys, I hope you guys have a great Sunday, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.